Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be modeling together this part. Let's open a new part and step by step model it together. In the front plane I create one sketch and then simply it is a L shape. Then we convert this to a construction geometry. We start here with a line and a stop, a little bit longer line, continue with an angle little line and then a normal line again. We combine these points, control is pressed, tool object is selected and then we make a merge. Something has changed, a little bit take it back. Maybe it is better we start to first give some relations and dimensions. These three objects will be at equal length. Here we have a coincidence. These are construction geometries. Here we have a length of 6. Here we have a length of 3. This have a length of 15. And angle here 120. Yes. 15, 15, 15. And here I need a line as well. It will be normal to this, perpendicular to this line. And here I have a radius 10, a diameter 10, and here I have a 3. Something like this. Here the same thing. I will press my control, select two object and make them equal and then here I start a dimension and adding a value of 3. This is fine. I will not uh, so much play with this base sketch because it sometimes gets complicated and program gives an error. I'm just going to copy it, copy to this uh, new sketch. I will remove unnecessary parts. This will be here. This is an unnecessary part. Now I will create here an arc, semi circle, let's say, not an arc. Let's start decent shape. Yeah, something like this. We select it. And in Y axis, I'm going to copy it. The intervals of 2. Let's make it 8. First, we combine our points. And then I have a little bit changed the position. I will combine this to edge. Everything uh, in our blue. And we add last relationship and convert everything to black. This is our mirror lines, two line. Firstly, I select all this one, mirror entities, and mirror here. And then I will select them this way. Each selected, and then again a mirror and mirror about here. Yes, something's uh, not solution found. Let's diagnose and accept. This is fine. Maybe I should create here a relationship. No, it's not working. Let's keep it like this. I don't know. That's the reason. Also, it's not very critical now. I like to keep everything black, fully defined, but sometimes it's not possible. We have sketch 1, which is a copy of sketch uh, the sketch 2, copy of sketch 1, and we will create one more. And then we will start to give now radiuses. You're gonna ask why I'm doing it this way. Because when you give sometimes radiuses, you lose your relations on the sketch. And that will always create an issues and will not allow you to work in a very 
a clean sketch. I select this line, select chain. This is not going to be mirrored. I remove that one, select mirror entities, and a mirror about in this axis. No, in fact, we need to mirror that one as well. Sorry. We have something like this now, guys. First two is hidden. This is the sketch. And now I'm going to create here one 80 degree in mid plane revolve. And then from plane, by plane, let me select it. This will be a body, of course. We're going to copy a body, no merge solids. We will keep it how it is. We are pretty much uh, in fact done. We are going to add little uh, details. Let's uh, hide solid bodies, and open a sketch in front plane, and work here. We have a line, group of line, as you see on the screen. And here a line. And then here I will create one construction geometry. Here my diameter 18. Total length will be smaller, but let's keep it now because sketch will be messed up if I'm changing something. Two here and three here. Total length will be 12. And here we have a degree of 135 and everything looking fine. This is a sketch. Let's show our solid bodies. Revolve cut. Auto select and this body will be cut. Let's take for you a section to visualize what I'm doing. And then I have a sketch here again to cut the one I have used for a cut revolve. I'm going to make a revolve. Merge is out active, but will be merged with this body. So we have a male female connection. I will here open a sketch and I will cut with 12, and the depth also will be 12. It is looking not combined, by the way. Sorry, merge result. This will be the uh, body to merge. Yes, now it's combined. Fill it. Here we fill it. Just two. And then I will cut here some uh, cutouts to let the, uh, this object a little bit. Uh, uh, how you call it, flex, when you are assembling, which is 2, and at length we have 20, let's say 22, and we will make this one also equal. Now we are going to cut it, we should cut, other way around, this one and this one. When you are combining such an object, you should be able to uh, flex it a bit. Fill the section. You'll understand it. Yes. This is uh, also done. Now what are we are going to do? We are going to hide our solid bodies again. Initial sketch here. I'm going to create here a plane at this point. And here I will create a sketch and we look normal too. This is the half of the uh, object. Let's place here our circle. 
also placing here one more line. We will have here 4x balls, there are 10. And we will create here an axis where we have a tangency and where we have an uh, angle of one millimeter, one degree. If you going to copy now the uh, in 180 for x, the other way around. Let's place here. We are going to find out the center angle in between how much the copying angle should be when you are making circular pattern. This object can be construction geometry. These are tangent. Here we have an, a one degree as well. If we draw here now a line, two line, the, the angle in between will give us our value. Yes, this is the value that I'm going to use for circular pattern. And last thing, I just want to create here one more. Yes. Evolve. Tin feature is closed. Contour is this, and this is the axis. Yes, first of all here. Show all object. This is selected. I'm going to create an axis at first. Origin and top place selected. And an axis created here. Set up axis, circular pattern, and bodies. Instance spacing. This is the angle. And I need only four time. Because I will copy them differently. I copied it. Top plane is selected and I'm going to mirror them. Because I need them here as well. The last operation creating the same thing here. Simply we are here at the front plane. Everything is hidden. We are going to create an axis a circle. It is our pitch diameter. Here we have a line. Here we have an angle. Here we have an angle as well. This should be one degree. Should be one degree. Here I have a circle, a tangent here, and the value is only 10. Diameter is 10. Let's make it construction geometry for now and copy. Eighty. 8x. Yes. Which is good. Here, I will create here a tangency as well. Now we can make this again normal line. This is missing, as you see. If you make coincident, you will get fully defined sketch. But I need to have something different. That's why I'm not giving my coincidence value, and I'm going to use the angle because then. Uh, Sketch will be overdefined and I will get an error. This is my instancing value, by the way. And here, a line again. So, revolve, tin feature remote, and this is axis. Everything fine, guys. Solid bodies show everything. This is axis. Circular pattern, axis selected there, and bodies will be this guy. Instancing value is 
this one we just find out and finalize our copying operation now I will make a mirror again these are objects to mirror the other side we are not going to make any uh, the merge here take care of it and last operation after we are finishing from here to here is except this one belong to the left half and add to new folder I'm going to create here say let from here to end is belong to right half the new folder right and I need one last thing origin and right plane selected and I create one axis now we are going to hide this axis we don't need it anymore and we go to move copy bodies this is the rotation axis we go here solid bodies right is selected from beginning to end and I will create a 60 degree rotation if you do that model will be completed and I would like to give a different color to both objects for example let's say them they have this color and balls having different colors already starts to look nice this was all it is looking a little bit complicated but it is not complicated i hope you can follow all my steps and everything clear one little sketch in the beginning then we copy it and we edit after let me make a brief this is sketch yes after we created a copy of that because it will be easier to work these things and then after I copied as well this one and I gave there my radiuses and then I created another copy mirror to the other side and then we, what we did we create internal connection because it should be able to ro ro rotate hmm. here we create the cutout to be able to little bit bend when you are assembling this thing and then the rest is just finding your points or the balls and then copying them and then rotating the axis uh, do not forget to create some gap if you are going to produce this thing in the for example 3d printer because we don't have any gap there should be a gap uh, thanks for watching my video if you like it hit the like button and make a comment. See you in another video.